In this video, I want to show you how to create your own budget tracker. And also, let me just tell you that if you're just going to use it on, on your computer, it might be a little more difficult to track your expenses. I personally, what I do, I create the spreadsheet on the computer. Well, I have the template already, but I created the template. And then when I get paid, that's when I kind of sit down on the computer and just put in all the bills and things, you know, there's some expenses like the internet, phone, rent that keeps coming up and is the same every month. But then there's all those small expenses. And what I like to do is actually just have this spreadsheet on my phone as well. And because this is Google Sheets, we can just see it in real time and I can type it in because if it's not on my phone, then I forget to type it in. And another way to do this is to just write somewhere in your notes and then type it in at the end of the month. Okay, so how can we create something similar to this? So I wanna show you the main functionalities you need to know, and honestly, it's really not that hard. One thing I'm gonna say is that we're gonna first create a new file, and when you go to new, you can choose from template gallery gallery so let's click there and actually this is really nice because there are some things you can use already that is on google sheets so all of these if something looks at least a little bit similar to what you want then i highly recommend that you go ahead and check it out so for example i get the annual calendar that i sometimes use you could also use this monthly budget but today i obviously will show you a different kind of sheet but if this is enough then you could just use this and maybe change some fonts and that would be it so now that we create our own we start with a blank canvas which is a little bit annoying but don't worry about it so the first thing is i just want you to have at least a basic table like this so you know you have your income and your expenses so that's what we're gonna do so i'm just gonna type in income and then here, as you can see, I have prediction and actual. So again, uh, don't have to actually do this, but if that's something you want to think about, especially if your income is different every month, like mine is, then obviously you want to have it here. Then of course the formatting, you can select it and make it to whichever font you want. And I usually like some more quirky fonts for myself but again your choice so here that's it and then we just type in the number so let's say i'm going to type in a thousand and then here you can choose the currency so we can go to format number and then go to custom currency and then you can just choose whichever currency you want now you can see i can see the uh, sense as well if i don't want that i can just click twice here and i don't see it anymore so here we can type in the prediction and we can type in the actual. So let's say it's the same. So I'm just going to type it in here. Now you also, I write down what it is that I'm getting. So let's say this is some side hustle that I'm working on. So then I'm going to type in side hustle and then I'm just going to type in the numbers. Then you could also type in your job and write your job's income here and like that. Now, if you type it in and it's not changing is because what we need to do is we need to click here and then we're just going to drag it out. If you only have a couple of uh, sources of income or you just have a job, then obviously you don't need such a big table. So we're going to pretend that that's all it is. And I'm just going to change this uh, to different colors. Now, one trick is that if you change the colors here, for example, uh, and let's say I choose a different color here. What I can do is I can go to format theme and then customize it. And now I can change it across the whole sheet. So for example, now this is going to be this one. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just changing it there. And then this one, let's say it's going to be purple. So as you can see, it's very easy. Now, I usually don't like to see these squares and grids. I feel like it makes it more like a spreadsheet oh, it is a spreadsheet but i feel like it looks nicer when we don't see the line so i just turned it off and now here we can do what we can do is we can add some of our own grids 
the way we want to see them. So I'm going to select all of these and then I'm going to just drag it to the size I want it. And here it is. And here we can do the same. So for this, you can obviously add some lines or sorry, not that like that, or you can add whatever you want and you can also change the colors as well. So I prefer to do that. We're going to type in here expenses. And as you can see, my font just didn't transfer. So I'm going to click on that and change it. And then I'm just going to change the color. And now I'm going to drag it here. Now I can type in prediction and actual as well. So I'm just going to copy the text this time and paste it here so I don't lose the formatting. Oh, sorry, like that. And now we can type in our expenses. It depends if you want to type in your day to day expenses. In case you do, you'll probably need to have a bigger table. So we're just going to drag that out. And, you know, it depends on the size you want it to be. But then you'll also have to format these accordingly. So if it's very long, then it's probably better to make these a little smaller. And if it's not that long, then obviously not that small. So I'm going to add uh, one more line here. And here we have the final look. And I like to usually leave some space and make it uh, without anything. I feel like it looks nicer, but personal preference, right? So now you can type in your expenses. So for example, you're going to type in internet and you're going to type in uh, 30 bucks, let's say. And then you can change it. And I'm just going to change this to that. So now I can just drag it out for the formatting or I can select it and then just drag it the formatting. So it's affected. It's the same formatting. So I don't need to change it every time. So next we have rent, let's say, and let's say it's uh, 600 bucks. So you just add in and then for example you buy groceries or something so then you can type in groceries and type in how much it was so let's say you bought something it was 30 bucks you added it here now the cool thing is that if i type in the same thing so for example i type in groceries again and i'm going to type in 50 uh now what we're going to do is we're going to create a diagram so the way to create a diagram i'm just going to select Okay, so it's bothering me. Sorry, I have to change this. So it's pretty. Um, and this, I really don't like that it's like that. So we're going to change that here. And now this one is messed. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm just going to do this. I'm sorry. I have to. Here we go. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but here we go. Okay, so let's create that uh, diagram. So I'm just going to select these the ones that I'm going to use, I'm holding the command key and I'm selecting the other one. So just so you know, I said command key. So now that I selected all of them, the ones I need and, and held the command key, I'm going to go to insert and click chart. Once I click chart, as you can see, I have a nice chart that says groceries twice, internet and rent. What we're going to do is we're going to click over here. So now the groceries are actually just one graph and that's very nice. Now, another thing I really want you to do uh, to make your life easier is once we have this graph, just click on the pie chart and choose one of the theme colors. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. So it's actually chosen it automatically. So now we can just go to back to the theme and customize it. So let's say we're going to choose let me move myself so I don't interfere. Let's say we're just going to choose, choose all the pastel tones. So we're going to choose this one. I'm just going to go ahead and choose all of them so I don't have to go back to this. So that's it. I click done. And as you can see, it automatically autom uh, changed the color from what it was to this one. And if I change it again, it changes it for me. And if you want a custom one, you can just add it here as well. So here it is, and this is how the theme looks like. So once you decide that you don't, you're tired of these colors, you can always go back and just change the theme colors and be done. So that's the main graph. So if you look at these, you see that I have the expenses breakdown. So we could also, this is the actual, is basically this is our expenses breakdown over here. 
And if I add more things, so for example, I type in groceries again and I say it's 30, then it becomes bigger as well. Another thing I usually like to add is to say total. And here I'm going to just put the sum and I'm just going to drag these and have the sum here. One more thing you probably will want to know as well. Let's say you want to have a separate graph for groceries. So what we can do is we can add groceries here, for example, and have them here. And then, so this would be, you would write specific groceries that, so groceries, for example. And then here, instead of writing this, you would write the place. So for example, if you bought it in something in Target or in Walmart or whichever else, you would type it in here. And the way this would work is that you could choose. So instead of typing it in, you could choose. So for example, let me delete this so it's more clear. So let's say you go to Target, Walmart and other places and you just want to keep them here. So then I can select this, right click and choose a drop down. And you can either type in the drop downs here or you can have a sheet. So for example, this is the sheet. But if I choose drop down from range, then I can just click here, go to my sheet and select all of them. What that does is that now I can select whichever part I want. So if you constantly have the same places that you go to and you don't want to type it in each time, you could do it like that or easier. So you don't have this sheet if you don't want to. Uh, let's go back, back, back. Uh, then you can just select it, right click, drop down and just add all the options here. And you can even change the colors for the options. So let's say I'm going to type in groceries. So now they're all red and now I can make this a little bigger and voila. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you're going to track your finances. I personally find that once I do track my finances, I spend less money because I just feel the guilt. A uh, great way of living, but you know, uh, save money. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to learn something else and see you in the next video. Bye.